Hello, good afternoon, good evening. I hope all of you are doing good. Am I audible to all of you? <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> How's the weather? Is it fine? <clears throat> How much is it raining? Rain, where are you, Shivali, in India? Okay. Good in Darwin. Okay. Darwin. Ravinder is saying raining. Where is it rainy, Ravinder? India or <coughs> Sydney? Okay. It's just cloudy here. Uh, good weather, that's fine. In between now. Okay. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's enjoyable weather. Uh, till the time people are safe, everybody's fine. The rain is always for enjoyment. But let's just pray and hope there's no uh, losses of life or property. Nobody suffers. There's no destruction. Then it's fine. Then it's all good. <clears throat> okay, so on this good thought, let's start today's session. Here you have your first question on the screen. You take two and a half minutes to solve this and then post your answers in the chat box. Make sure you're timing yourself. You have a pen and paper to take notes during the class. <clears throat> and then you're focusing and listening very, very carefully on the discussion part so that you don't miss anything. Be more um, focused, not on whether your answers are right or not. Focus on how you got the answers and how we are discussing because the day you will be able to bridge that gap on how you are solving and how we solve in the class, there will be a lot of improvement in your scores. Okay, so start your time now, two and a half minutes, and then post your answers.
okay should be done listen to the discussion part very very carefully so what i can see in the first answer is most of you have selected d abundant because this blank was based on information we don't know which species they are talking about they said while the most dash and dominant species the one um characteristic or one adjective that they used for species was dominant how do we know that what is the other type of species this context wants to talk about so this was nothing based on grammar this was just based on information and when we when the blanks are based on information the answer has to come out of the information given only so the options were huge bigger these two words go with size of something sufficient means enough and abundant again goes with some something kind of quantity when we read ahead we come to know that yes abundance is a thing being discussed so that is why the first answer should be abundant because in the context they did not talk about how big or small the species are any kind of are the species enough or not but yes there was a topic of abundance being discussed and that is why we will go with abundant there's no other reason that we should be selecting abundance over um we should be selecting abundant over sufficient so one thing that you should note down is you have to analyze whether the blank is based on information if yes then find out your answer from the given information only so a thing to note down is some blanks are based on information given in the text this is what you should be noting down so that when you revise when you are revising one day before the exam these are the things you need to revise then for the second blank fill this blank dash has predicted the weather give me your answers whatever not out of this context whatever you can fill in it dash has predicted the weather so what can come in the blank any answers <clears throat> so basically when you put has predicted if you have a blank before that what will be your question who has predicted means in the blank should should come the word who can answer who has done the prediction then you use has and have this is called active voice when the person doing the work is written then you use has or have after that here in this sentence they said mm. whether expert has predicted expert has predicted this person has predicted means the doer has to come before has always the person who is doing this action prediction is the action here so the person who is performing this action has to come before you can use has predicted whereas in this sentence they said while the most abundant and dominant species within a particular ecosystem is often crucial in perpetuating the ecosystem a keystone species here defined as one whose effects are much larger than dash from its abundance and you have written whose effects are much larger than has predicted who has predicted is there any doer who is doing the prediction given that you can use has and have so write down in your notes that active passive is going to be used in each and every question in the exam if you are not thinking from active passive point of view you will make wrong answers in the exam so here has predicted cannot come because who has predicted nothing is given so this is not an active statement we cannot say is predicting again this is active who is predicting and that to at this moment who is predicting the context is not in ing form so is and has both cannot be the answers now one we have is would be predicted would be mean something which is yet to be done and was being was shows past tense what is this sentence in effects are much larger than and can we say effects are much larger than 
was being predicted can we use was with effects effects is plural so we have to say effects are much larger than were predicted because was cannot come with singular noun sorry was cannot come with plural noun was comes with singular noun so write down the third thing in your notes i always have to check singular and plural before writing my answer so what are you left with is would be predicted nothing else is possible so even if you are not sure why would be predicted you are sure why the other three are not the answers right but one more hint that why would be predicted because if you read the complete sentence they say can play a vital role can means something is to be done it is not done yet you are just taking a possibility so that's why you are saying can play means if this happen this can play an important role next says but because complex species interactions may be involved identifying a keystone species by removing the species and observing changes in the ecosystem is dash so again just the next uh, note that you should write down is always read complete sentence the hint is there in some part of the sentence how this sentence starts is complex interactions may be involved so what do they want to say when they say complex interactions may be there that things are not easy it's very difficult complex interactions may be involved and identifying a keystone species by doing this and this is dash problematic uncertain doubtful adverse what is the language complex interactions may be there so that means they are saying the things are problematic it's not easy it's very difficult complex means difficulties are there we cannot say uncertain uncertain means we are not sure whether we will be able to identify the species or we will not be able to identify that is uncertain when you are not sure of doing something they are not saying that we cannot do it or we can do it they are saying it's a difficult task to perform how do we get to know by the language because unless and until they give us a hint whether something is not possible we cannot assume that it is not possible for them or is it possible for them the language only highlights difficulty so we can only select an answer based on that it might seem that certain dash would clearly define a species as a keystone species for example this disaster of precious is often a keystone predator because it consumes and suppresses musical populations whenever you have example given it is very very important information now some of you have written issues here <clears throat> is the example of an issue they say that it might seem that certain dash would clearly define a species as a keystone species and then they have given the example without the full stop with a semicolon that means whatever word has to come here this is the example given for that word and you are writing certain issues they have given example of this species a is called keystone predator because of this reason what is the problem in this they have given the characteristic of a species that how does this species perform whatever work it does how does it live what is its action this is a characteristic feature of a species this is not a problem of the species so we cannot go with issues and we need a plural answer because with certain cannot come a singular word so certain traits would define a species as keystone and then they have given an example of one trait in one species then they say but such predation on a dominant or potentially dominant species occurs in systems that do as well as in systems that do not have species that dash keystone role then here everybody is right because with the noun role we use the word play <laughs> this plays a vital role this plays an important role Uh, something plays a crucial role so play and role is a combination which always go together so this is how you have to do the note taking when we are having the discussion and i hope you understood that everybody has to write because writing is not about meanings of words only or collocations only or phrases only you also have to write the methods how do we have to think when we are solving all right
so these are the answers the first abundant based on context would be predicted because was cannot come has cannot come is cannot come all three are not possible because of a noun is plural and all of these things come with singular that is also a reason problematic based on the language of the context they were talking about complex interactions complex word just means that there is nothing easy everything is difficult so this is uh, problematic certain dash certain comes with the plural noun we have two plural noun issues and traits the example is of trait example is not of issue so we'll go with traits and the last one with roles you always go with play a key role play a vital role play any kind of role any confusions anyone there should not be after so much discussion thank you shikha <clears throat> question number 2 two and a half minutes solve and put your answers and think from all the things that you are writing start using them before you finalize your answer
for the word true you can write down examples for yourself that the word true comes with one example through the tunnel when you are talking about the way <coughs> and second true comes with a method <clears throat> that will be easier for you to select true if you ever want to if it matches with one of the two options only then you go with true either true is to pass something cross something or through is with through this method through this way through this process nowhere else so here it cannot be true because myths is not a method not a way not a process and not a tunnel so you, this is the way you can learn the use of few of the words and then some of you have written from the myths from comes with the source i have got this dress from this market from prevent from always comes with the source of something now here myths is not the source can we say from the myths means whatever you have got you have got it from the myth and they are saying from the myth is the belief that environmental regulations affect all competitors have we got this belief from the myth myth means myths are what how can we define myths <clears throat> things which are not logically proved but people believe them those are myths so from comes with the source through comes with the method or the way or the tunnel kind of thing when you cross it here the answer is among the myths means out of all the myths that we have is this one belief that environmental regulations affect all competitors in a given industry uniformly means out of all the myths one of the belief is this that everybody gets affected uniformly because it's not possible in reality regulatory costs fall uneven so they say the myth is the belief is that it affects uniformly but actually the reality is that the regulatory costs are uneven means it is not uniform economically dash some countries and benefiting others what is the verb they are using ing form and i can see you people selecting damage where were you looking at when you were selecting this answer what is the reason that we should even look at ed forms of verbs when they have used ing form of verb economically dash some countries and benefiting others means this uneven cost it benefits some countries so we need the opposite of benefits so what will be the benefit opposite of benefit disadvantaging some and benefiting others benefiting would mean advantaging others so giving disadvantage to some countries and giving benefits or giving advantages to others a simple way of putting the opposites together for example a plant situated near a number of larger non compliant competitors is less dash to attract the attention of local regulators than is an isolated plant and less attention means lower cost so the same example they have given how it benefits some people and does not benefit others so they say a plant situated near a number of large non compliant competitors is less dash to attract so this was just a completion less likely means there are lesser possibilities that it will attack, attract the attention of local regulators we cannot say is less surely is less tends with is we cannot use s form of verb and is less assumably this is not something to assume this is a real life scenario they are given that if you have a plant at this position there are lesser chances that local regulators will get the attraction towards it so less likely to less possible additionally large plants can spread compliance costs such as waste treatment dash a larger revenue base on the other hand smaller plants may not even be subject to certain provisions such as this and that so now they are telling us that how it happens so large plants they can spread the cost such as waste treatment dash a larger base waste treatment beyond a base beyond is used means if this is the boundary cross the boundary that is meaning of beyond the base over the base over is used for height something like the plane flew over the house so in terms of height and distance 
opposite the base or across the base hmm. we don't know whether the plant was opposite plant was out of the boundary plant was inside the boundary we can just say across the base across means in that area so uh, um large plants can spread compliance costs such as waste treatment across a large revenue base so if you have a waste treatment plant across a base across means everywhere in that area basically then they say finally older production technologies continue to generate toxic waste that were not regulated when the technology was first adopted the sentence is complete continue is a verb so we need adverb here <coughs> rather is not an adverb already yet yet also is not an adverb often and already are adverbs so we already is when you finish something before time so it's better to go with often it means generally continue to generate toxic waste <coughs> so often is something which commonly happens already how can you put already how do you know they are saying older production technologies already continue to generate toxic waste <coughs> often continue to generate means this is the common scenario because already comes with finishing something before time and here it's not the time perspective they're just giving a fact that the old technologies often do this work <coughs> right so these are the answers the first one out of the myths means among the myths this one is a belief that uh, everybody gets impacted uniformly but the reality is opposite it is actually uneven then we need ing form of verb which should be the opposite of benefiting so disadvantaging some and advantaging others less likely to just a collocation is likely to other words which go together whenever we want to talk about possibilities of something waste treatment we don't know where is the plant opposite out of or inside we cannot say so we'll just go with waste treatment across a larger base because it is in that area and the last one whenever the sentence is complete and we have a verb written after we need to go with adverb already and often both are adverbs already is used with respect to time when you have completed something before the deadline that is already here the sentence has nothing as of a time perspective so we can go with they often do this work often is generally they do this work <clears throat> right is it clear everyone <clears throat> any confusions rohit is it fine now no problem third question two and a half minutes and then post your answers please
good well done <clears throat> if i say that Water is flowing over your house. Imagine this thing. Pictureize this sentence. Water is flowing over your house. Go and check those who have selected A. Can water flow over your house? So why have you selected A here? Boat is also a building, no? So in Winters versus United States, the Supreme Court held that the right to use waters flowing dash or adjacent to the port, Birthold Indian Reservation was reserved to American Indians by some treaty establishing the reservation. Water cannot flow over anything, over a river, over a lake. Water does not flow over things. What has happened to you? We cannot write by because by and adjacent means the same. Adjacent to the port also means by the port. So that doesn't convey anything different. Amid means amid cannot be used for water. Amid is in between of an event. Water flowing is not an event. So the answer was through the port. <coughs> through the port means the water that is flowing through. Maybe there's the, the water flows and there are there are boundaries of the port uh, where the water flows. So it has some boundary of the port. That, that's part or that's the area of the port. So that's why they're saying through. But anyhow, we just want to select based on elimination. Water cannot flow over something. By and adjacent means the same. Amid cannot be used for water. So we have to go with through. At least water can flow through areas. Although this treaty did not mention water rights, the court ruled that the federal government intended to deal with American Indians by preserving for them the waters without which their lands useless. So even with the blanks intact, we can understand the sentence that the court said their intention was to deal with American Indians by preserving the water for them. Means they wanted to do good for. Preserving is a positive word. They wanted to preserve the water for the American Indians. Why do they want to do that? Because without this water, their lands were useless. So the story was very understandable. Now, when you have a complete sentence and there's a verb, deal. So we need that verb. How did the court want, it, uh, want to deal with the American Indians? Fairly, moderately, properly. So when we talk about courts, their job is to be fair, to serve the justice. They don't do things properly or improperly. They want to make things fair. They want to uh, serve the justice to people. So understanding who is doing the work, the court. So their intention was to be fair with Indian Americans by preserving the water for them, without which their lands dash useless. Now, not many of you have selected this answer as right. Why? Understand. Many of you have selected were. If we say without this water, their lands were useless, were conveys that in the past, those lands were useless. This happened. But is the sentence saying that the lands were useless? Then why did they preserve the water? The sentence wants to say they wanted to be fair. They wanted to preserve water for the people without which. Without which means if the water was not served, not preserved, then the lands would have been useless. So would have is used when something did not happen, but could have happened in the past. So would have means if the water would not have been preserved then the land would have been useless. And that is why they preserved, the court gave this order that it is not fair if we not do this. It is fair that the water should be preserved so that their lands are not useless. And because not is not here, we have to go with without which 
their lands would have been useless. So would have shows something in the past that did not happen. It could have happened if this thing was not done, which is given in the sentence. So that is the use of would have been. Here we cannot say were because the land was not useless. They were just giving the situation. It would have been useless. R cannot come in present tense and should be is for suggestion. This is not a suggestional sentence. So later decision citing winters established that courts can find federal rights to reserve water for particular purposes. What are those purposes? Number one, the land in question lies within an enclave under exclusive federal jurisdiction. Number two, the land has been formally dashed from federal public lands. We don't know. Land has been done what? That is why they have explained. That is, that is means explanation. Withdrawn from the stock of federal lands available for private use. That is why the answer is withdrawn. They said land has been withdrawn from pub, uh, federal public lands. What is the meaning of this? The meaning is withdrawn from this, 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 this. And set dash or reserve. Set aside is a collocation, which means reserved only. So set aside is when you keep something special for a special purpose that it cannot be used generally by anyone for anything. That is called setting aside, keeping something separately for a specific purpose. Right? So these are the answers. Water can flow through things. Water cannot flow over. Water can flow by, but by was already written. So that's why we went with through. Fair because it's court. Court too does not do things properly. Court does things fairly. The third one, um, the court wanted to be fair. It preserved the water without which the lands would have been useless. Because if they did not give this judgment, if the water was not prepared, the water was not preserved, then the lands would have been useless. This is the writing style without which. Without which means if they were not preserved, then this would have happened. To give you an example, let's say there is a lot of garbage sitting outside your house. And the municipalities have not come for collection from 15, 20 days. So it's a big, uh, what is it called? Stack of rubbish. And it's stinking badly. So if you want to create a sentence, it would have been, what can we say? I thank the municipal corporation uh, for coming and collect, collecting the garbage without which it would have been difficult to spend one more day in the locality. So you understand that if they would not have come, then it was not possible for you to stay one more day in that house. So that is would have been something that did not happen, but could have happened if the collection was not done. Right? I hope it's <laughs> understandable now. Second last answer was given with the explanation. We did not know land was removed or land was reserved or land was withdrawn. That's why they told us that we are talking about withdrawing the land and set aside is a collocation. Is it fine now? Any confusions, anyone? Shivam, is it fine to you? All right, fourth question, two and a half minutes and post your answers.
good very well done first two are very well done third is also good rajni what has happened to you <clears throat> when do we use while for comparisons a stanford led study reveals that dash evolving gradually over hundreds of millions of years land plants dash major diversification in two dramatic bursts so this was when you read the complete sentence you come to know that they are talking about rather than happening slowly over hundreds of millions of years this thing actually happened just in two bursts means it did not take millions of years to slowly uh, uh for the development of seed it just happened in one burst um development of seed and in one burst diversification of flowering plants so that was just context based plants rather than evolving gradually means this did not happen land plants underwent because it's a past tense what we need here and out of the other out of the four options the other three are present tenses so there was no choice in the second one there was only one past tense so land plants underwent major diversification in two dramatic bursts and when did these two bursts happen 250 million years apart apart is used when you want to say first thing happened then 250 million years passed and then the second thing happened means there is a difference of 250 million years between two happenings is called 250 million years apart <clears throat> the first occurred early in plant history giving rise to development of seeds and the second took place dash the diversification of flowering plants <clears throat> again the second took place beyond flowering plants is not a limit that we can say beyond other took place distant the flowering plants afar the sorry while the flowering plants while is <laughs> used for comparisons um meanwhile meanwhile is when one thing is happening in the same time the other thing is happening that is meanwhile by the flowering plants better to go with during because we want to talk about time period this is the explanation of time that we are giving that 250 million apart they happened and when so the first occurred early in plant history and the second took place during the diversification of flowering plants and when this thing was happening during that time the second one took place the research uses a dash but simple metric so they have used an adjective simple metric we need one more adjective for metric metric can be any method with a we cannot use something with a vowel so alternative and original cannot come because they are starting with vowels the research uses a different but simple metric how do we know that the metric was different if the answer is different then the sentence would have been the research uses a, a metric which is different from others unless and until they include from others we will not get an idea that they want different to be the answer so we'll just say a novel but simple metric the meaning of novel we have done this this generally comes in the question novel means new method hmm. while scientists have long assumed that plants became more complex with the advent of seeds and flowers the new findings offer dash into the timing and magnitude of those changes <clears throat> so with the word into generally we go with the word insight insight and into go together kajal the meaning of insight is when you get information about something, detailed information about something that is called insight into. And it always comes with the word into. Right? So these are the answers. The first one, even if we try to put the other options, they don't fit. A Stanford led study reveals that on behalf of evolving gradually, you want to say on behalf of something gradually evolving for hundreds of millions of years on behalf of that land plants have undergone diversification it is not possible in preference to evolving what are we giving preference to there are no two things that we can give preference to the first one and instead cannot come with instead without of so we cannot go with instead so we want to say rather than this 
rather than this happening the opposite happened the second one we needed past tense why we need past tense <laughs> because this is a thing that has already happened the next sentence told you the first occurred the second took place means both of the things have happened so how can we say that the land plants undertake present tense this has happened already both the events have happened so that is why we have to go with past tense here land plants underwent because it has already finished this thing and 250 million years apart the meaning of apart is at a distance of at a difference of that is the meaning of apart <laughs> apart from apart you cannot say apart is used for distance when things are measured in kilometers and meters that is apart in distance when you want to say something is very far then we can use the word apart distant again 250 million years distant is wrong english it has to be at a distance of it doesn't even fit because distance is not in years and beyond 250 million years is not the boundary so two things happened first happened then for 250 million years passed and then the second event happened that is when we say this time apart means at a difference of this time so you can say for example um Ten years apart, I have learned history and geography. Means there's a difference of ten years before your uh, between the learning of two subjects that is apart. And then uh, we needed an adjective for metric, which is method. So we'll go with the novel means new method because different cannot come unless and until we have from others given or any kind of word which shows that they want to talk about comparison with the others only. Then we can use different. and the last one whenever we talk about we have got information about something we use the word insight into right shivam vinod rajni is it clear okay the last question for reading writing blanks two and a half minutes for this and then post your answers
Anybody left to post the answer? Okay, good attempt for this one. Some of you have done the second one wrong. This was a gender topic. So what word do we use when we have uh, gender discrimination? So you have to think from that perspective. We don't say separation of boys and girls. So when people differentiate between boys and girls, whenever there is gender discrimination, we don't use the word separate. So you have to think sometimes from the world perspective. Anybody? Yes, Hadri, you are right. Segregation is the word that we use in that case. Okay. Let's discuss the answers. This says in the 17th century, women dashed primarily in low paying jobs. So, what happened in 17th century should be past tense. And there was only one past option. So, we'll not discuss in detail here. Are present tense, will future tense have present tense? Only one past option. To explain this dash of labor by gender, economists have relied on the useful theory of human capital. So when we have gender discrimination, that thing is called segregation of labor. Because segregation is when you differentiate. That is called segregation. Isolation is when somebody is lonely. Separation is when you differentiate, discriminate. That is not just separating. You can be separating for a lot of other reasons as well. But segregation at least shows that there is an intentional um, superiority and inferiority thing that they that they have in the topic. So segregation of labor by gender. According to this theory, investment in human capital generally benefits individuals by making them eligible to engage in well-paid occupations. However, women's role as child bearers results in interruptions in their population, in their participation in the job market and reduces their dash to acquire training for highly skilled work and reduces their the sentence is complete reduces is a verb so we need adverb here how many adverbs do we have or sorry we have uh, connectors so if the sentence is complete either we will need an adverb but if the options all four options are connectors then yes connector could be the answer so in the previous, if it is a connector, then we have to understand the meaning of the previous part and the next part. Only then we can connect. If we don't know the meaning, we cannot connect in the right way. So the previous part said that women's roles as child bearers in, results in interruptions in their participation in the job market. So they are talking that um, negative about that because we look at women as child bearers. So this acts as an interruption for them to participate in the job market and reduces their dash to acquire training. Next part is also negative. So there is no contrast. What is the first thing you should check when the options are connectors? Is there a contrast or not? Because then the connectors used for contrast are separate than the connectors which are used otherwise. But here there is no contrast. Both the sentences are negative. So we have to select based on the meaning thereupon means shortly after that something happened and very soon after that some other thing happened that is thereupon. So it is used with respect to time. In this way and thus are synonyms. So when you want to say some previous thing and because in that way the next thing happened that is called in this way and if thus is also given that's a better academic word for saying in this way. And also reduces cannot come because in the previous sentence they haven't said reduces something. Only then we can say also reduces another thing. So the answer has to be does because they wanted to say that women's role as child bearers in results in interruptions in their participation in the job market and in this way reduces their opportunities to acquire training. In this way now you can connect that because of the previous scenario in this way, it reduces their opportunities to acquire training for highly skilled work. Chances and opportunities, both are same. Chances is more general. Opportunities is a better academic word for chances because chance is a spoken language word. And if, if you are working, obviously all of you will be, um, you might have heard that there is an opportunity for a training. There is a training opportunity 
you don't use the word there is a training chance in my uh, organization there is a training opportunity in my in organization so we don't use the word chance in corporate sector we have opportunities in the corporate sector then they say in addition the human capital theory explains why there was a high concentration of women in certain low skill jobs such as weaving and not the others by positioning that because of their primary responsibility in child bearing women took occupations that could be dash in the home so with be comes third form of verb we have three taken out carried out and put through and out of these what we can use for occupations that could be carried out because occupation means the work would be carried out in the home so occupation weaving as an occupation cannot be taken out in the home or weaving cannot be put through in the home weaving can be done in the home and done means carried out to perform weaving is performed at home <clears throat> so that could be performed at home that could be carried out at home that could be done at home so those kind of occupations they used to step into right so the first was caste tense second we wanted to show discrimination and segregation at least is better to go with discrimination does and in this way are synonyms does is a better academic word for using the word in this way thereupon is used in respect to time also can only come if you have already said that it reduces something and also reduces another thing otherwise you cannot say also though if you are using the verb for the first time opportunities is better to be used in corporate sector than uh, chances and the last one would be come third form of verb so to be carried out carried out means performed or done right rajni where haven't we used food with first form of verb which blank any other confusions anyone we know this is clear what is written before the blank rajni is it written could or is it written be so it be comes third form of verb if the blank is after could then it comes first form of verb first question for your orders and you have 2 minutes to put your answers for this one
good a lot of you have done very well the first sentence is b when land plants were diversified in the early devonian about 420 million to 360 million years ago earth was a warmer world devoid of trees or terrestrial vertebrate animals the second sentence always explains the first sentence further so they say that the earth was warmer there were no trees no animals nothing the second sentence was d because d was also explaining the same arachnids like scorpions and mites roam the land among short patchy plants and the tallest land organism was a 20 foot fungus resembling a tree trunk the only land organism was fungus means no vertebrate <coughs> Or terrestrial vertebrate there was no vertebrate animals at that time and then what happened after the devonian huge changes occurred in the animal kingdom land animals evolved to have large body sizes and more varied diets insects diversified dinosaurs appeared but plants didn't see a major change why because you have to justify but but means there will be contrasting information here we say did not see a major change. What is the opposite of not a major change? Very major changes. This is what we talked about in the previous sentence. So first we said huge changes. Opposite of huge changes, no major change. So you ha always have to justify connectors. <coughs> Clear with everyone? So Aska, Navjot, Sehnur, Gudotek. Let's look at the second one. Two minutes for this.
bit unusual question. Some of you have missed this word, these two low skill occupations. So these means you have to name the occupations before the sentence. Example, obviously, cannot come unless and until we give the explanation. Examples always come after explanations. <clears throat> but we have to go with C as the first sentence because however means there should be contrast and there is no contrast given to this sentence. This sentence says there were differences in pay scales that cannot be explained by the human capital theory. And there is no sentence which talks opposite that there are no differences or there was uniformity. So, however, can come at number one if there is no contrast given, though it will be very rare case. So, we should start with this because at least this has the topic that the topic is difference in pay scales. And then you have to give the example because you cannot say these two occupations without naming the occupation. So, in the example, we have the name of the occupations as well. For example, male construction workers were paid significantly higher wages than female taffeta weavers. So, these are the two occupations. So, first we name the occupations, only then we can say the wage difference between these two low skill occupations stems from the segregation of labor by gender. And then was the additional information that what is, what is another reason that because a limited number of occupations were open to women, there was overcrowding, which resulted in lower wages and men receiving higher wages. Right. And we have to go with D at number two because D is the example of C. We cannot put D somewhere else. The example always comes right after the explanation. In C, you said there are differences in pay scales. Prove it. Give the example if you have it. So that's why we give the example that construction workers were paid higher as compared to the taffeta workers, male and female difference. So that is the example and example always comes right after the explanation. We cannot have sentences in between. So this word these was very important. Everybody should have got uh, DB as a pair correct. C as your first sentence and obviously you are left with the option of putting A at the end. Right. So sometimes it is that it is possible that you have to put a sentence at number four because there's no reason for putting it anywhere else. So rather than every time having a reason that two matches with three, three matches with four, the fourth sentence, the fifth sentence may not match with anything. So that is a reason to put it at number five or number four. Right. <laughs> The last question for your orders, number three, you have two minutes to solve this.
Okay, let's discuss. This is the first sentence. You are right. In 1908, a large and powerful explosion occurred in the stratosphere above the remote taiga near this river in central Siberia. <clears throat> the first sentence and the second sentence are always connected in the way that the second sentence further explains what the first sentence is talking about. And the first sentence gave us an year. It told us what happened and it told us where it happened. So basically it was talking about the place and there was one more sentence which talked about place only so that should have been at number two. The blast caused by the explosion leveled about 200 square miles of pine forest. <coughs> so this is also talking about the exact place where it happened, how many square miles the explosion was. And then you move on to some other topic. The force of the explosion was estimated to be roughly 1000 times the power of the atomic blast that destroyed Hiroshima in 1945. This is also talking about the explosion but not about the place. This is giving additional next information about the explosion which is about the force of the explosion. And then CB is right with almost most of you. Investigators say this, other investigators say that. So most of you have just messed up A. So please try to match that the second sentence should explain what the first sentence is talking about. Not only additional information, the same information will be further explained. <coughs> right? Okay. Let's start with reading blanks. Here is the first one on the screen. You have two minutes to solve this and post your answers.
or right should be done we did this i think in the last two classes continuously we have done that what do we use with the noun name and we even talked about this that we don't say with the name we say under the name name always comes with the preposition under the name not with the name So Dash, being blind from birth and growing up in poverty, Steve Wonder managed to become a musician in early childhood. So, with being, you go with despite, although notwithstanding also means despite or in spite of, but it doesn't come with being. Despite word can come with being. So, despite means even after being blind and growing up in poverty, this person managed to become a musician in early childhood. so what kind of musician this person can become some of you have written experienced can we put experience with a first of all he become a experienced child uh, musician it has to be an and the second thing in early childhood how can a person become experienced but looking at it grammatically you should have not selected experienced it has to be skilled musician because we need an adjective for the noun musician learning to write music sing and play the piano organ and drums in 1962 at the age of 12 he began recording music and performing professionally that's the name little steve wonder so with name we always say under this name when you use a name for business with that name we don't say with the name that's a verbal language that you can use but it's wrong to say with you have to go with under the name Although his stage name suggested a novelty child performer, he quickly dashed himself as a serious musician. So he dashed himself as a serious musician. It's a past story going on. We have two past, three past forms. He established as experienced as he confirmed as. So he can establish himself as a serious musician means <clears throat> he. Uh, used to be like this that is establishing that people started to believe in him as a serious musician so he cannot confirm himself or he cannot experience himself but he can establish himself as serious musician by his 21st birthday he dash or co written so with by we always go with past perfect tense had plus third form always with by and we do have it he had written <clears throat> any confusions anyone with the name always use under the name despite with being and be careful about vowels they come with an not with a any other doubt anybody <clears throat> okay Question number two. Two minutes to put your answers for this one.
is it right english if you put addition in the second sentence and addition to european colonies that's wrong and addition to you use addition to with in addition to and addition to that cannot be used christopher columbus's discovery of the americas in 1492 led to the dash of many novel crops to europe so after the comes a noun which should be introduction of novel crops because novel means new crops so they were introduced to europe and to european colonies in asia and africa means the introduction of crops was first to europe and it was to european colonies as well both two words that fit were later and subsequently because you were emphasizing on time here that in 1492 it led to the introduction of new crops to europe and later means after that the new crops were introduced to european colonies in asia and africa but out of later and subsequently subsequently is more academic so we use it more in a formal use more formally than later so the answer should be subsequently which means the same later on after that so first it was introduction to europe and then after that to european colonies forever changing the global food dash what of global food we needed a noun and we had only one by this time which was landscape landscape means just the overall uh, menu of food that we had so changing the global food landscape although it was the european explorers and colonizers who transported foods from the new world to the old the native people who domesticated these plants over millennia have largely been dashed by history so by tells us we have to go with ed form and there's only one that we have overlooked no choice overlooked by history overlooked also means ignored but ignored is giving an ing form and we cannot go with ing <laughs> it's a passive statement so it should be overlooked so the meaning um the second step blank later and subsequently both means the same subsequently is more academic than later so that is why more formal than later so we will go with subsequently means they first introduced the crops to europe and then later on they introduced the crops to european colonies in asia and africa after that that is the meaning of subsequently but we cannot say they introduced the crops to europe and addition to european colonies in addition to makes sense and addition to is not even the combination we can ever write any other conclusions anyone third question you have two minutes to post your answers
In ancient China, it was commonly held that solar eclipses dashed when a celestial dragon attacked and devoured the sun. Past story, so we should go with past tense. And solar eclipse is a natural phenomena. With natural phenomenon, so we go with the word occurred. And because it is past story, so we'll go with occurred. Solar eclipses occurred when a dragon attacked the sun. Chinese eclipse records are dash of the oldest in the world. And I'm not happy with you selecting one of the oldest. The noun is plural. Chinese eclipse records plural. So it should be some of the oldest in the world. <coughs> Go back to more than 4,000 years. At least one simply states the sun has been eaten. To frighten away the dragon and save the sun, people dash band the drums and make loud noises. Past tense. Could is possibility. Would is something that surely happened. People would do these things. People would bang drums. People would make loud noises during an eclipse. Since the sun always returned after this ruckus making, it is easy to see how the tradition was perpetuated. Interestingly, it's dash the ancient Chinese were not dashed by lunar eclipses. It comes with a, a verb with S. We have to. It shows or it seems. Nothing is showing this to us. We are discussing what records we have found. So we can go with it seems. Means it looks like. The ancient Chinese were not dashed by lunar eclipses. So before by we need past form. They were not bothered by, interfered by. Interfere comes with with. They were not bothered by lunar eclipses because one of their texts says it is a common matter. Means they had a good story about solar eclipses that the <clears throat> dragon would eat the sun and they would beat the drums and this and that. But there's, they were not bothered by lunar eclipses. They thought they're very common. That's the story. Right? So the first one, we needed past tense because the story is past. So we'll say occurred. The second one, the noun is plural. We cannot say one. We have to go with these records are some of the oldest because records is plural. The third one, people would bang drums this is because this is what they would do in the past. With it comes a verb with S. It shows. Nothing is showing. If it is a picture, we can say it shows. If it is a drawing, we can say it shows. But there's nothing like that. So we can say it seems that they were not bothered by lunar eclipses. They were only concerned about solar eclipses. Samad is it fine for eclipse, uh, Chinese eclipse records, plural records. You cannot say they are one of the oldest. They are some of the oldest because it's plural now. <clears throat> All right. Any other confusion, anyone? Bothered, yes, can be understood as concerned. They were not concerned about. With concern, we go with about. With bothered, we can go with by. Fourth one, two minutes, the last question for today. And then post your answers, please.
okay should be done go very well done so hello look at the last sentence again so they say anxiety addiction and other psychiatric disorders are often dashed by intense states of what scientists call arousal and they have given examples as well the heart races blood pressure readings breath shorten so all these are characteristics so that is why we call it anxiety addiction are often characterized by these characteristics bad decisions are made in an effort to understand how these states dash the brain's decision making processes so states is plural we need a verb without s because it's a factual statement we need present tense only we need to understand how these states influence is what we have in the verb without s the only one number 2 <coughs> how these states influence the brain's decision making processes scientists at this <clears throat> school analyzed the data from a previous study of non human primates they found that two of the brain's decision making centers contain neurons that may monitor the body's internal dynamics the sentence is absolutely complete monitor is a verb so we'll go with adverb here how will they monitor uh we have actually and exclusively so actually means in reality and this is not a false thing <laughs> if we are saying that the neurons in our body do the work they do it we don't need to say they actually do the work but we can say they exclusively do this work exclusively means it is their main function the only function they perform The neurons that may exclusively monitor the body's internal dynamics dash a heightened state of arousal appear to rewire one of the centers by turning decision-making neurons. We have, however, and furthermore, however, is used when we go opposite. Furthermore, is used when we go in the same direction. This is not opposite. Even the previous topic was about arousal, understanding the state of arousal. Next one is also talking about heightened state of arousal means more. information about arousal so we should go with furthermore the heightened a heightened state of arousal appear to rewire one of the centers by turning some decision making neurons dash internal state monitors so with the noun turning the preposition that goes is into like we use conversion with into we use turning also with into so one thing is turned into the other thing not against how do you come to know this is a negative statement those who are writing against there's nothing negative in this so they are turning decision making neurons into the monitor internal state monitors right any confusions anybody in this question so they have given the characteristics so we'll go with characterized by the second one we needed first form of verb without s third we need an adverb actually it doesn't make sense our neurons to do the work but we can only say they only did this work or they did other work as well furthermore because we did not go contrast and into comes with turning <clears throat> any confusions anybody in this question indicated is uh, uh the meaning of indicated is when something gives you the indication the signs of something that's an indication but these are the uh, factors features sorry characteristics not indications so that's why we have to go with that anxiety is characterized by because we feel these things in our body so these are the features the symptoms you can say not indications is not a word that we use in medical sense right these were all the questions that we had to do today i hope it would have been helpful and you have taken a lot of notes and you will be revising those notes every day before the class so that those things stay in your head when you fill your exam <clears throat> influence the work it can serve as a noun as well and a verb as well both things will <clears> hold <throat>